Hello everybody, nice to see you again. Today we will talk about the BSSC dynamic simulation. So firstly I will open the BSSC first. <coughs> okay, let's open it. Here we go. The, for the dynamic simulation we will need two files of BSSC. The first one is the SAV file. So uh, for the example, I will use the IEEE 118 bus. For example, here is the SAV file of the 118 bus system. It contains uh, the information about uh, your system, like a bus or plant, machine, or branch, the, the connection between bus and bus in, in your system. Every information is in here. <coughs> The second file that you need to open is the dynamics file that named the extension is the DYR. So the DYR file will include the information about uh, your device, like a generator or exciter, or governor, or something. In in this DYR file, you can change you can change your you can change your uh, device model like as this in here change the value by just enter the value and you also can choose another model in the library of SSC okay and you can do the same with exciter and governor also but in here I will not change any information of them and we will focus on the dynamic simulation so for running the dynamic simulation first you have to run the power flow you can do it by go to the power flow tab and choose the solutions and solve and you can see this window this window will provide you the methods for the load flow calculation it can be newton option or it can, it can be gaussian so in here i will use the full newton option methods and i will choose the flash dust and I click solve and you can see your system is already uh, calculate it's already calculated here yeah? the mismatch is zero megawatt it's very <coughs> so the next step you have to do is uh, convert the loads and generator and by click the tab sorry i can do again power flow convert load and generator you can check the convert generator in here check the convert the load in here Choose all the bus and then click convert. You can see that in the re result, uh, your, con your your generator and bus are already converted. The next step you have to do is to running the fact it is factorized at mat emitting matrix. Here you run it. Then next step, you choose the order network for matrix operation. Just click OK. And then the last one is the uh, TYSL is the solution for switching study. You flash start, click OK. Okay, it's uh, done for the power flow calculation, and now we can jump to the dynamic simulation. So you go to tap dynamic in here, and you can define the simulation output by click define simulation output channel. Uh, in here, uh, there's many kind of the uh, output that you can choose is it bus, or line, or load quantity. But uh, in here, I will choose the bus quantity. And in here, you can see you can pick frequency or voltage or voltage and angle. But uh, I will choose a frequency, for example. You can select uh, a random bus for visualize the result of dynamic simulation. And I choose the uh, bus one, for example. Anybody is okay, so you, I choose bus one and just just click go and you can see that the frequency of bus one is giving to the channel no? the channel one is identified uh, to frequency of bus one okay so the next step is we have to run the dynamic simulation by dynamic and go to tab simulation and perform simulation click here and then you can see this window the window the first is channel output file you can choose the output file click the three dot button you can choose the file name for example example 
and click OK. Ah, sorry, click Save. <coughs> and the next step, uh, choose the time to run the simulation. Uh, for example, I will run it for three seconds. And then click Initialize. And you can see here they said that initial condition is check okay if, if this message is not appear it means that your system has some problem and you have to check it and then you can click run now run and your system will be run until three seconds and next step you have we will apply some uh, event you choose your system you go to tap disturbance in tip in this step <coughs> you have many kind of disturbance like a bus fault light fault uh, clear fault mean after you apply some fault you can click this button to clear this fault uh, but in here i will choose the disturbance of the machine i disconnect some machine to apply the event in here they will ask you the bus number if you if you remember the bus numbers you can enter but uh, it's better to select in here it's going to be more easy so you can choose any bus any bus that uh, have the machine, so just I choose bus ten. And click OK. And just OK. Okay, okay you see now the machine one. Uh, one means this machine is uh, in service, and the machine in bus ten is set to out of service. It means it changed to zero. So we just run the simulation one more time, but this time we have to change the time, like run to ten seconds. Uh, you can run to any values but uh, higher than three because because we already run to three seconds so we have to run continuing run running from three to some uh, other value so we just click run in here you see the system now start from three seconds it go to 10. okay so finish the dynamic running so it's finished the dynamic simulation but uh, how can we see the result how can we visualize it so not like other software in PSSD, you have to open the output file that you already create in here. Uh, sorry, we can click open and choose the output file and click open again. Okay. You can see it will appear the window of the channel plot. This window is where we can visualize our, our result. So in here, you can see in the left side of the, your screen, there will be the plot data. This plot data is depend on the channels that you define before the dynamic simulation. You see the fre frequency frac of bus one. But uh, the problem is this frequency is giving in the type of uh, deviation. So <coughs> we need to make some modify for it. So for this, I will go to the function and then click add functions and make the simple function to get it back to 60 head. So 60 multiple with one plus the A. And click OK. So we can see in the function there will be a function up here in here. This is functions that we already create. And you just simply put this signal into the variable A by drag and drop it to A like this. Oh sorry. Again. <coughs> okay. Then now your frequency is setting into this function and you can visualize it into your channel plot by drag and drop. Okay, you will see after three seconds, the event is happen and frequency is getting uh, dropped like this. <clears throat> okay, that's uh, all for the dynamic simulation. Thank you for your listening and see you next time.